Hello everyone and welcome to a new video here on my channel. Hi. <laughs> this video, as you guys can see, we have two camera angles going on and here are all my nails. Um, we are not going to do nails only in this video though. This will be quite a long video, I think, and therefore I am going to like section it out. I've seen other people do this on um, YouTube where they have like different timestamps, if that makes sense. So you can actually just look at the video right here and you will be able to like click what kind of sections you actually want to see if you don't want to see everything. But I will be very happy if you watched the entire thing, obviously. So the very first section of this video will be me doing my nails. As you guys can see, they are looking very, very rough. <laughs> and I'm not even gonna like, oh, I cannot, okay. I removed my last set. Uh, that tutorial is on my Instagram if you guys are interested. I removed that set by filing it off with my e-file. You should not do what I did. <laughs> but I filed off my natural nail and like look away. Okay, look away like a few seconds if you don't want to see this. Oh my god, can you guys see that? Oh, I filed that off. <laughs> that is so awful. It doesn't hurt or anything, and it didn't really hurt when I did it either. But now, looking at it, I'm like, how can it not have hurt? Because that is just gross. But yeah, <laughs> let's zoom you guys out so you don't see that. So the first section is literally me. Uh, I'm going to apply some uh, tips only with glue this time. I'm not gonna go ahead and use any poly gel um, because I'm waiting on some new poly gel. So hopefully I will get that soon. Then the other section is that I am going to use poly mer. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you guys. This is a polymer clay that I got from, I think, Amazon, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna show you guys all of it now, but it is a bunch of clay thingies that we are gonna make some jewelry out of. We are gonna make some earrings, rings, and uh, what else do we have here? Like hair clips and stuff like that. Maybe it's weird to start with the nails because the nails is going to be very, very long and uh, that might not be the best when working with clay. But whatever, let's go ahead and put on the nails. We have some nail surface cleanser. Here we have that. This we are going to use with some like cotton free, not a cotton free swab, but this is like, what is this called? Air lead paper. We're just gonna cleanse our nails. That's pretty much it. And then I actually have a base coat already on, but I'm gonna, I think apply like another one just because my nails are obviously very <sighs> hurt. I did file these way too much. So I'm just gonna put on like a base coat to like kind of protect it. This base coat you get in pretty much all of McCart's kits. So you don't have to add that when you buy a kit at McCart because literally like all of them are included in those. And I'm not gonna fix my cuticles or anything like that just because I have already fixed that. I literally do my nails <laughs> once a week. So my cuticles are already gone. <laughs> I'm just gonna use the LED light on my thumb and then I'm gonna do the rest of the nails. I don't know if you guys can see by the way, but I've cut my bangs. I really wanted my bangs to be like super straight and then like long hair here and just straight here. But now I cut it so it like goes down a little bit like this. I feel like it gives me that like mullet look. 
secure that. And then after that, I'm just gonna cleanse them again as the base coat is kind of sticky. All right, so there we have a base coat on the nails. And as I said, I am going to just glue on some nails. And these are the Bacard Pump Ups in Stiletto XXL Full Cover. And yeah, I am fully aware that I have used these in like all of my videos. I am gonna get some new ones, I promise. We are going to just size out my nails. These were a little bit big. Oh, that's actually perfect. And that is a, a number three. Number six for this one. And then I am probably a number seven on these two, right? No, maybe not. Yeah, that's perfect. A number eight on this nail and I think this nail as well. Yeah, and there we have a number 10. Perfect. You can apply these with like poly gel or any type of gel really, but I'm just gonna go in with nail glue because obviously it's a thing because you get the nail glue together with the tips. We have something stuck in here none of the glue is coming out okay there i think okay let's see oh okay how much should you use though uh oh no it's super quick <laughs> can i get it off ah, ah, ah. ah okay i did it this is not how you should do it. I'm so sorry. Oh no, there's glue everywhere. Can you guys see all around here? Look at all of the glue around here. Oh no. It's at least straight and uh, that's all I care about. So let's do the others. <laughs> Okay, I think that I have figured out what I do wrong and what I can do better already. Right around where your cuticle is going to be, you put the glue and just a tiny, tiny amount. Here, for example, let me see if that works. Right, oh my God, that was perfect. She. I was actually kind of scared because I didn't really want to put nail glue on the finger because it's obviously just like flesh there. Uh, amazing. Okay, let's do this one as well. I think I did quite a good job. Yeah, I am going to file around the cuticles just to make that a little bit more seamlessly. And I am going to file away these glue residues and then I am also going to file them into shape and I am gonna do a ballerina shape yes I am ah okay that was fine oh my god I'm scared where did that go <laughs> and there I am gonna find these in like a year <laughs> Okay, there we have them. So now I'm just gonna file them. I'm gonna file the top of these and then I'm gonna apply the base coat and then we'll, we'll apply the color and all of the fun stuff. All right, so here are all of my gel polishes and here are the nails, by the way. We are going to choose what color we want and I'm not really sure, maybe I will do some sort of like, You know what? When I was young, I used to hate the colors red and pink together. But when I've grown up, I've started to like it. So I think that we're gonna apply some pinks and some reds. So here we have 
Some really nice tanks, I know. Here's a red. And I think I should have like another red as well. That's another pink. Let's see, this is, oh, this is like gold. I did not know that I had that. I think this is an orange. Oh, that's really pretty though. <laughs> All right, so here is a glitter one. I feel like that could uh, be really cute on some of them. Then all of these are from a card, by the way, obviously. This is from the Birds of Paradise collection. I really like that one. I really like cool toned. You didn't see that. <laughs> I really like cool toned pinks. So like these sorts of ones, but maybe it's a little bit too purpley. Yeah, okay, you know what? That might be a little bit too purplish, to be honest. Okay, this one is a dark red. Oh, that was really pretty though. Here we have another pink. Okay, I really like this one. Let's put that here just so we can see them. Okay, they are very similar. And then we have an orange as well. If we wanna just put that somewhere. Let's first go in with the gel polish from the Birds of Paradise collection in Tanagar. Tanagar? Okay, I'm still here, but I have to be super close so I can really see what's going on here. And while that is curing, let's go in with the red here. Did you guys hear that? It was Tebow trying to get in. Always when he wants to come in here, like he goes straight in with his entire head, <laughs> just like duke. And then for the last one, it's gonna be a pink one as well. All right, so here are the nails completely painted, I guess. They are looking really cute, I think. And um, I did the, try the glitter ones on one of the nails, but I felt like it would be really nice to just have them quite plain. And then I'm going to decorate them with these. This is the Sweet uh, Cravings collection, and this is the Birds of Paradise. Let's put these like that so you can see can actually see them. Then I have a bunch of stickers. As you guys know, you guys have seen these before. I might go in with these ones. Probably none of these. I've already used literally like all of these sheets. So yeah, if you want to see that, then just go ahead and check out my other videos. I think I want to go in with like something cool as like this. Wouldn't that be really cool? Like, like how cute are those? I think they would be really, really cute. I'm actually wondering if maybe I should try these out when I'm making the like earrings. How cute would it be to put like a donut on a ring or something? I am gonna go in with the nail rhinestone glue, also from a cart, uh, and we're just gonna try this out. I'm gonna put a big chunk here. I think we're gonna go in with the green ones. Put a big clump right here as well. Oh no. Wait. <gasps> Do you guys see what I mean? Like I wanted one that was like the other way around. But all of these look the absolute same. What should I do then? What should I do then? Oh, that's cute, right? Okay, that's ugly, isn't it? <gasps> no. I'm not gonna change this again. So this is just how it's gonna go. I'm gonna put a big glob right here. I'm gonna put the pink pretty one like that. And then I'm gonna put a glob right here. And I'm gonna take one of these 
And I'm gonna put that there. That will just have to do, I am curing it right now. Also from Birds of Paradise, let's go ahead and just put some more. For this, I'm just gonna go in with the top coat. And now let's just bling this entire nail. Why the fact not? It's pretty fun. I'm not gonna lie. I like it. I think that I'm gonna go in with at least one of these just to try it out. I'm not really sure if I should go in with the white or the black. Let's put that here now then, I guess. All right, like that. Let's just top coat all of this. I feel like as soon as you put top coat on things, it just looks a hundred times better. All right, so now this is completed. I think it's pretty cute, to be honest. It's not my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. I am pretty much just gonna do the same thing. Like now when I see it like this, or do I like it like this? I don't really know. Which one do you guys like? Pimped or not pimped? The nails are finally done. I've been sitting here way too long. I say that all the time, but I literally thought that this set would be quick as I didn't use any poly gel, but no. I'm actually really happy with it. Like, I think it looks really cute with my red lips. All right, it's the next day. As you guys can see, I have a little bit of different makeup. I've had these clays for so, so long and I'm so excited to finally do something about them. I think this is going to be so much fun. So here we have a like a hair clip kind of thing. So maybe we'll use that. This is like a brooch, is it called that? Okay, both of these I think we're gonna use for sure. So this is for rings, obviously. Maybe we can put like a donut on there. Maybe we don't even need to use the uh, polymer clay. These ones I really, really wanna use and make my own earrings. So we're gonna take two of those. This, I have no idea what it is, to be honest. I was actually planning if maybe I should do like a a name tag for Tebow. I already have one, but Tebow also has four harnesses. So uh, maybe I will make something for Tebow there. And if you don't know, Tebow's my dog. How can you not know? <laughs> I got these like crafting thingies. Uh, but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use them. But now let's pick out the colors. Obviously, I'm gonna go for colorful colors. Um, I'm actually a bit sad that I didn't get more pinks because I only have one. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> I only want to do pinks and this is not really the pink that I would go for. So... Oops. So I'm for sure gonna go for the pink there. And then I really like this one. Like these two together look really, really cute. Maybe like a lilac and a yellow probably. Maybe a red. I have a bunch of blues. Like this is really cute. I really like this one, like a lime green. And maybe we should have a black and a white, just in case. Here are all of the shades that we might use. I actually found this on Pinterest. I can see if I can find it. Um, should we try and do like a squiggly thing like that? Let me start by getting this up. I think I need like a super tiny amount for this. So let's just take a little bit like, oops, and like that. Let's squish it around. Oh no, it got, <laughs> it 
a little glitter speck in there. Oh, I'm already loving the feel of this. <laughs> it is just so nice to handle clay. It's just so easy to work with. Okay, I'm just gonna work it like a dough, if that makes sense. Taking a little bit of that, doing the same thing with these. Like that, kind of. I'm actually shocked that it's going so well. <laughs> I did not think that it would because I don't know. I felt like I would struggle with my uh, my nails. Re Hello, can you not be here? A little piece of black hair. There we go. <laughs> and then I have figured out that this mascara is the same size as my rings kind of i've also heard that they do shrink a little bit all right here we have baking paper baby baking sheet sheet paper i don't know what it's called honestly remove that we'll put that on and now i'm just gonna put it like that and then i'm gonna do or should i do the entire thing like that Maybe? Yeah, we are. Okay. I'm just gonna work it like a. Ooh, okay. You know, uh, I'm doing it right. Ooh, <laughs> Casey, it's looking so good. And we're gonna take this and put it around. And there, we should probably cut it off, right? Cut this off. Bloop. And I think that this will be like the back of the ring, so this can be quite flat, right? <gasps> it's looking so cute, isn't it? Should we do like one of those? Like squiggly thingies? What happens if I just like straighten this out? Like, like this. What happens if I do this? Okay, maybe not the cutest. Oh, okay, wait, if I just spin it. Oh my God. That is so pretty, isn't it? <laughs> I'm so excited! Hello, pretty cute, right? I think it looks cute! Okay, I think I want to create one this color, I think. And I want to just make this a quite plain ring. Okay, this was much easier to have it on a plain surface. I was just scared that the surface wasn't clean enough, but at least it looks clean now. I mean, it is looking a little bit <laughs> weird perhaps, but a little bit fun still, right? It doesn't have to be perfect. <laughs> okay. I have these beautiful decals from uh, McCart. I would have loved to use like maybe a few of these like teddy bears and these ones. Oh. I'm just gonna do a bunch of different rings and then uh, I'm gonna bake them in uh, like 15 minutes in like 120 degrees, I think, Celsius. Yeah, we'll be back and decorate. 
super exciting. All right, so here we have all of the rings done. This is my little frog, kind of. <laughs> we have a small one like this. This one I'm really excited about. I really love the color scheme. And then this one. Then I made two squiggly earrings like this, this one, this Ooh, first one that I did, this one, that one, I mean, hello. <laughs> I think that these are turning out pretty cute, at least for now. Let's see if it actually fits. Ooh, it fits. Perfectly. Okay, great. I'm gonna go in with the top coat and just put this all over. I'm gonna put it on the top first and then I will take it off and do the bottom. I'm gonna put one there. Okay, I'm gonna put one more here. Let's cure it completely now. Let's top coat this entire thing. I really need to get another top coat open. All right, while that is curing, I'm gonna put on some cute things on this one with top coating this. It looks so yummy. Like it literally looks like a candy. And here is one of the rings completely done oh my god okay i'm top coating these ones as well and putting top coat on these are so satisfying like just look at that so here is not top coat and top coat okay on this i am sure that we're gonna put on some Oops, donuts. Oh my God, I cannot do anything with my nails. I have these super cute like ice creams as well that we might put on the ring as well, I feel like. There we go. Put that on there. Oh, you cannot see. I am so happy with these rings. I am urging you to do this yourself. It was so satisfying and comforting and like calming to just sit and craft with your hands. I absolutely 
love it and that's why I think that I love doing my nails now as well it's just such a like calming thing to do just sitting for hours and doing like these artsy things yeah here is also how the earrings are looking I actually think that they are really really cute but I think that I would love to have a similar to this one and a similar to this one and not wear them like differently like this that is it i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a like and please subscribe if you have not already if you are interested in anything from mccart i have a coupon code for 15 percent off at their canadian uk like worldwide us and europe website it's evelina for sale and 15 percent on all of those websites that's it <laughs> i really hope you guys enjoyed and i hope that we will see each other in the next video bye guys